Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here on that brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shop video today. Today you're going to go out today see what things came out, see things are on sale today. Now today though, when it comes to new release wise, there's not really much uh, coming out at all that I think will be in stores. I think there may be one or two things, like one of the only things that I know of that comes out today that I know will be in stores is a Mel Gibson movie that he stars in called Force of Nature. Other than that though, I don't really know anything else. I'm going to check to see. I feel like, you know, the main place that will have anything is Walmart. I'm probably not going to go to Target because I have a feeling, like I said, that there's going to be nothing new. Uh, there wasn't anything changed out last week. Uh, you know, next week, though, uh, there's a bunch of things coming out, like a handful of things like Trolls World Tour, uh, that releases, as well as, you know, Walmart changes out the actual section, so should get in a whole bunch of new stuff as well. So next Tuesday should be a, a handful of new stuff. But like I said, today, not expecting too much. Uh, but also, though, at the end of this video, is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those at the end of the video and as always too let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the DVDs Blu-rays and 4k's that I reviewed if you guys have seen them what you guys thought of them also if you guys plan on picking any of them up but anyway though guys let's get going and see what we can find today into Walmart we go if you don't mind would you please open oh thank you I appreciate it and like I was saying last week though this is like the new Walmart that I'm gonna always go to now for the most part and then like one of the other ones in case they don't have the stuff out because if you guys didn't see the video last Tuesday, the one that I usually like to go to for the most part, that one now though, you know, it locks up all the movies. So like 90% of the movies were locked up. So like I wasn't able to, you know, look at the stuff or anything like that uh, last week. And you had to, I had to get them to get the key to get one thing out. And it was like this big mess. It was like a huge disaster trying to find the key. I was in there forever. They found it though. It wasn't that long, it was like 10, 15 minutes or something, but uh, I've definitely, and like for the video wise, I like to be able to show the stuff and you can't really like in the, go over there and say, can you open this up and then I can like, you know, touch the thing and can I get a thumbnail with it? You know what I mean? So yeah, well, it definitely well, wouldn't be good in that particular location doing it like that. But yes, but hopefully, you know, they don't start doing that here, locking everything up. But we'll take a look over here though and see. Let's see though if they have the Mel Gibson movie over here. I'm not sure where they put it. It's kind of all like, torn up right there but let's see uh, this was last week you know the inheritance one I got that one last week and then the other one that was last week was the haunted one yeah somebody went on here and kind of like pushed everything over I don't see though the um the force of nature one the Mel Gibson one here let's see if it's anything put over here or anything like that because like I said in here though you always have to really look because they kind of like things kind of get all moved around in different spots like last Tuesday though this came out um Southworth, the complete 23rd season, but I didn't see it out in the in Walmart last Tuesday. But that one's $19.99 for that one. It's also available on Blu-ray as well. But yeah, like I said, sometimes they don't have this stuff out on release week, I've noticed. So yeah, that they didn't they didn't have that last week. Let's see though. Anything else in here? Because like I said, I don't even see the um the Force of Nature one. I believe this one might have been last week, this Corey movie, or maybe it was the week before. I can't remember. But yeah, like I definitely, some of these ones are still not out here. Um, I don't know if they got moved or something or maybe they never put them out. That's like I said, that's the pain with some stuff. Like the other Walmart probably would have had them, but then they were locked up. But I'd have to go and like, you know what I mean? I have to just sort of show them from the glass. But yeah, like, I, like today, literally, it seems like there's absolutely not one new thing in here at all, as far as I can tell. And I don't see the Mel Gibson one. I might go look at the one other Walmart, though, in one other area that I'm going to go to uh, quickly. So we'll see, though, if that location put anything out in there. But I'm just trying to see if there's anything else uh, different over here. This seems to be a bunch of Hallmark, um, Hallmark movies and stuff like that right here. Uh, but other than that, though, yeah, don't see anything else in here see anything these are all these were out a couple weeks back and stuff like that the ones that had those slip covers again but yeah nothing nothing here at all yes yes yeah, like I said it's it's very weird to be in here one for a week when there's literally nothing but like I said I think the only thing that they could possibly have was the um, Mel Gibson movie uh, and if you guys ever any of you guys watch force of nature though that one uh, let me know how that one was because like I said I, I, I looked at the trailer for it I thought it looked all right I didn't think it looked like absolutely amazing so I don't know if it'd be one that I would like 
blind buy. I just don't know. I think it was going to be $14.99 though, so it wasn't going to be a, a bad price or anything like that. But yeah, we'll probably head though to uh, the other Walmart and see if they have anything uh, different out of that one though, or if, they, if they're going to have the Force of Nature in there. Into the second Walmart we go. Yeah, but fingers crossed, you know, that they'll have out the Force of Nature over there in the section. We'll see, though. I don't know. Maybe they won't have it in here. Because I remember a couple weeks back with a lot of the Lions Gate titles, a lot of them were not out on release Tuesday. I don't know if you guys remember, but, like, when, like, We Some of the Darkness came out and a few other ones, they didn't have them at all for the first, like, week or two. So might be the same situation. We'll see, though. And if you guys have noticed, too, when it comes to the masks, it's like so often people's like, and I notice people wearing them wrong so often. I don't know if you guys do as well, but like everyone's like, sometimes people's entire nose is out. And I'm like, why is your whole entire, like the whole nose? It's like, oh. Well, actually, lucky enough, this location doesn't lock the stuff up too. And this location has out some new things. So this is one of the things that came out today. Uh, this movie called, um, which it, I mean, it looks like something that might be kind of funny. Like, it, and it has like Michael Caine in it called Four Kids and It. I don't know anything about this one, but it looks like really goofy. If any of you guys have watched this though, let me know how this one was. But like I said, it looks super goofy, especially this creature thing in it. Like, I don't know, like, what is it, a best selling adventure? Like on a seaside holiday, the kids from a blended family visit the beach and discover a floppy eared creature that grants wishes. I won't lie, that sounds kind of kind of funny. I don't know, but if any of you guys have watched it, let me know. But it's one of those ones where it's the same price on for the Blu-ray or the DVD. Uh, so, yeah, so it's $14.99 for the Blu-ray or $14.99 for the DVD. And they do have Force of Nature here. It doesn't, oh yeah, so the Blu-ray is here. So they do have a Blu-ray of that one. And that one is uh, $14.96 for that one. Like I said, I watched the trailer for this one and it looked all right. It didn't look like absolutely amazing. Like, um, Emil Hirsch I always like as well. I mean, it looked, like I said, I, I don't know. If you guys have watched it though, uh, this one as well, let me know if this one is worth picking up. Uh, but that's $14.96 for the Blu-ray, uh, $12.96 for the DVD. And one of the other things today was this one called Season, I mean called Evil Season 1, and that one is uh, $29.96 for that. But other than that though here, like I said, at least they did have out the new stuff. But other than that though, I don't see anything else new here. I'll look over in the actual section here as well though. But at least though, this location too is one of the ones that doesn't lock stuff up. So I definitely am going to keep that in mind. If the other one that I was just at in the future doesn't have stuff like it did with those ones, uh, this one's definitely a good one to show as well. And long, as long as they don't go and lock it up in here as well. But just checking in here though, to see if there's anything else different mixed in here. Uh, and I showed this out a couple weeks back, but it's a great price though for Candyman on Blu-ray, only $9.96. This is one of the ones though that had the delay with it when it first came out for like a couple weeks before they had it in the store. In here as well, uh, they have a lot of empty stuff up here as well, like the um, some of the movies in here, not out. Uh, so I guess these ones never came in or they never ended up putting these, these titles out from a couple weeks back. I don't know though. Uh, this one though, I did watch this one out back. I don't know if I talked about that, but I did buy this one online because I couldn't find it in stores. But I actually thought this was pretty good about this, these, these, this couple that goes on a trip to the Australian Outback and they end up like going to try to look for this rock area and the car, they go and get confused and the GPS takes them to the wrong area. And then they kind of do this dumb thing when they're like, well, let's go to the top of this when the car gets like, they don't know where to go. They're like, let's go walk to the rock, top of that rock up there, that hill. It only looks like it's about a mile away. And of course they do that and then lose where the car is. And it's them out trapped out in the, in the outback with like no water. And it's like a nightmare. I, I kind of liked it though. Like, let me just peek through here though and see if there's anything else. Uh, different in here. It's a bunch of like the Saw movies here for $3.96 on DVD. Doesn't look like anything else um, new here from I can tell or anything new TV wise mixed in here or anything like that. But at least they did have the uh, new stuff out in here though. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like, like I said, doesn't look like anything else different here though as far as I can tell. This location, the front of the store, has like a $5 bin right here of um, Blu-rays and stuff. And there's some decent stuff in here. I'm not going to touch all the ones in here, but there's like a Weekend at Bernie's and like Zombieland. This one Nicolas Cage movie was pretty good though. Between Two Worlds. It was one of those ones where he goes like fully crazy. Uh, like, like The Stand is in there. It seems like there's some DVDs as well, but you know, some newer things too. Like Isn't It Romantic? The, the new Shaft film. I feel, yeah, there's some decent stuff in this one. Primal. This is another Nicolas Cage one I thought was pretty decent. 
in there. This is the Priest and Legion double feature in there. A lot of people were mentioning when I showed that in the horror pack that they've been seeing this in some uh, Walmarts recently. What is this one here? Oh, Hereditary is in there for $5. So that's good. Yeah, this is a Goosebumps movie, Space Jam, Big. So yeah, some decent things in this one here. Yeah, but at least though, you know, that location in there had uh, some of the new stuff out. Cause like I said, I knew some things released, so at least that one had stuff. Because otherwise, too, I was thinking uh, the thumbnail well, I was like, kind of like, what am I gonna hold? I'm just gonna be like, like this, you know what I mean? Like I didn't know what I was gonna do if there was nothing at all uh, to see. I might be heading now though to uh, the one thrift store that's in this area that I like going to. But I was there like maybe two weeks ago when I went by and had a huge line, and it was also like like 90 something degrees that day and I'm like oh I do not want to stand out in the heat to go in but I'll take a look and see how it looks now and maybe I'll go in there I don't know it all depends too because uh, like a lot of times people really crowd up the movies in there and I don't want to do it like look at them if it's going to be like that but we'll see we'll see what it's like and we'll see if you know I can even go in if it's not like a gigantic line or anything but fingers crossed maybe it won't be busy but usually always is though yeah, I can see like down there again, there's like a big line and like I already was like in the sun this weekend. I got like sunburned. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. I don't really want to wait in that line over there. And then I'm sure they're all crowded up on the movies. I'm trying to see how quickly it's going. I, it's, it sort of seems, it seems like it goes all the way out into the thing out there, I, but I don't see anyone going in. So I don't know how long, you know, the line will wait or anything like that. So I see, I think I see somebody going in now. I don't know if I'll stand there for a minute. I, I don't know. I kind of doubt it though. Yeah, I was real excited at first though when I came by because I was like, oh, there's all these parking spots. But as you see though, it's like, I don't know how many people are letting in, but there's like a big line and I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. And then I also know they're all going to be like crowding up on the movies. And then I'm like, if everyone's touching them, you know what I mean? In a place like that too, I'm sure like they aren't cleaning the movies much or anything like that. So I'm like, I don't think so. I, I do want to get back in a thrift store again like that again, especially since that's my favorite one. But I honestly think it'll be a while. I really do. You know, until they let more people in. And I don't know. It, it, it will definitely be a while. I really wanted to go in there. <laughs> it's been such a long time. But it's definitely, like I said, too, it's always real sunny and hot out here, too. It's like, it's warmer today, too. So I definitely don't want to, like, stand out there and get sunburned and all that kind of stuff. But... I tried, but <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's I definitely don't want to stand out there though. Into Best Buy we go. We'll see though if in here though they have any of the three things that we saw out in Walmart. If like because other if they don't have those ones, there probably won't be anything new. And I bet the section is still really picked over. But we'll see though. Yeah, but back here though on the new release wall, it's still all the same stuff over here. Nothing new has changed on the front was all the same stuff as well. But we'll look in the section over there and see if there's anything else though. But we'll see. Yeah, well over here though, I actually do see uh, Force of Nature. So they do have Force of Nature over here. They don't have the other one that I showed though, like that creature movie with that weird one with Michael Caine. But they do have Force of Nature here. And that one is uh, $14.99 for that one. Other than that though, you can see like the sections like really empty still but they do have south park they didn't have that out last week when i was in here so they do have south park so they are getting things in here and everything but you know it will just see how long it takes though for like some of this stuff to get filled back up again like the section right here for them to put more like catalog titles and that kind of stuff in here but yeah other than that though uh definitely nothing new over here though uh you know as far as i can tell nothing that i didn't see the last couple of weeks so anyway though guys, that was all for my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Like I always say though, if you guys enjoy these uh, shopping videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up and leave me comments below. And also let me know too, uh, you know, if you guys went out today or you guys ordered anything online or anything like that. Let me know, you know, anything new that you guys uh, picked up. If you guys picked up anything today on DVD, Blu-ray or 4K. Also as well too, let me know anything new that you guys have checked out on streaming. If you guys watch any new movies on streaming or any new TV shows or any of that kind of stuff that you guys have checked out uh, lately. Take it off so you can hear me better, but let me know anything new that you guys have checked out lately or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, I did watch on Amazon Prime the movie uh, My Spy. That one finally, you know, uh, released because that one originally was going to be in theaters like over a year ago and it kept on getting date changes and date changes and then, you know, when all the theaters closed, that was one of the things that was going to release, I think, like a month or two back. So then Amazon Prime ended up buying it and I thought the movie was okay. You know, it stars Batista, 
and it's kind of got like a vibe of like the pacifier aspects of like leon the professional uh like a whole bunch of stuff all combined into one it wasn't like i said absolutely amazing or anything like that uh it wasn't as much like action and stuff as i would have thought it would have had in it but still was worth checking out and if you guys have amazon have amazon prime it's on there for free with that so that's definitely not bad for that but like i said if you guys watch that too let me know what you guys thought of that one and also let me know too what you guys thought of the dvds and blu-rays and 4ks that are reviewed at the end of this video if you guys have seen them what you guys thought of them and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up and also too uh i would jump right to the reviews but a lot of people say they missed the drive-throughs you know me going to the drive-throughs so before we get to the reviews we're going to now head to the drive-through so over to the drive-throughs into the burger king drive-through we go Hi, so I need to just get a uh, double cheeseburger plain, please. Okay. And then a small fry and, okay. and a small onion ring. And then do just... Me, do you uh, want me to get a meal? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. And then just um, two, two sweet and sour sauces, please. Anything else? And do you have the small fry, too? Oh, yeah, I see that. So, yeah, that was everything. So, small fry, small onion ring. Yeah, 1065, thank you. Okay, thank you. Can drive through. We go. I just need to get a burrito with just eggs, potatoes, and cheese. And that was everything. Hey, thank you. Into the Panda Express drive through. We go. And well, I can see there's a. A big line. It's a weird time too. It's 3.07. So it's not like lunch or it's not even dinner. So it's like, but it's definitely a huge line though. But yes. Thank you for choosing Panda Express. This is Pablo speaking. How can I help you today? Hi. So I need to get the, um, the two plate combo please with just the double of the string bean chicken breast and the uh, white rice. All right. Steam rice double. Dream bean, do you want to add any other meal today? And then I need just a small side order of the fried rice. And small of the fried rice. And then a small of the uh, side order of the chow mein. Uh, so I can only... No, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm just getting the medium size. Sorry, sorry, oh. medium size. I, I don't know so what I'm saying. Medium rice and medium chow mein? Yeah, that's right. So medium fried rice, medium chow mein. Alright, anything else for you today? And then uh, two orders of the veggie spring rolls. Alright. And then I just need uh, four uh, sweet and sour sauces and some um, soy sauce, please. Alright, any other thing for you today? And that was everything. I will have everything for you in the, uh, ready at the window. Do you want to donate $1 to children's hospital? Um, you can round up the, the total. Alright, thank you. Thank you. No ma'am today, but... Now we're going to head home for the new uh, DVD and uh, Blu-ray and 4K reviews. And the first ones I got here are all from Arrow Video. I got some really cool new stuff to let you guys know are available. The first one here, though, is a movie called Dream Demon. This is the director's cut of the film. This is one I had never seen before. This is actually a film because I was watching... On here, and they were talking about how the uh, print, you know, for this one was lost. This one, you know, only ever was released on VHS in the past, but you know, had never had a DVD or a Blu ray or anything like that until now. And this is a great movie. Like I said, I had never seen this one before, and it kind of has like a vibe a little bit to like, um, kind of like Nightmare on Elm Street mixed with Hellraiser a little bit. It kind of has like both of those ones kind of like mixed together, has that sort of feel to this film. It's basically though about this woman who is you know, getting ready to get married and, um, it's kind of like she's just right right about to the point where she's going to get married. And she starts, like, moves into this new place, and she starts having these really weird, super creepy, like, dreams about things. Like, these, like, I don't know, the, 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 this movie has some of the most creepiest images and, and like, visuals I can say I've seen in, 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 like, a film. There was some seriously creepy stuff. The one character actor was in here as well, who has been in, like, a whole ton of films. He was in, like, um, Gothic, you know, Ken Russell's film gothic but a whole handful of movies he's always been great you know i uh, always loved him in movies and he was like plays this really crazy weird character in this movie but essentially though you know when the one woman moves into the house who's going to get married um 
and she starts having these dreams but then at the same time this one girl is like um has come to um, to um the UK and she's trying to like um uh, you know, she comes to the, the same house and she feels like she grew up in this house, but she doesn't have, like, she can, can't really remember. So she gets there and then she starts kind of like um, having sort of weird sort of dreams as well. Kind of like the one's dreams start to kind of like c come into her mind and she starts to kind of have weird things happen to her and it's kind of like getting into her dreams. And it's kind of like I said, it's got like a real like Nightmare on Elm Street sort of uh, Freddy Krueger-ish kind of vibe of what's going on. But this movie was great. Like I said, there are some really super, super creepy Hellraiser-esque kind of visuals and stuff like that in this movie. I absolutely love this movie. On here, though, it has a brand new 2K restoration from the director's cut from the original film elements on here. It also has the alternate theatrical version of the film. It has on here, though... Um, so some of the other features on here is a brand new scene uh, select audio commentary on here with the director as well as the producer, a brand new inter inter uh, you know, video introduction with the director, a brand new interview on here with one of the actors, uh, you know, interview on here with actress uh, Annabelle Le Lannon, uh, it also has an interview on here with the composer. Um, it has on here a making of Dream Demon archival behind the scenes documentary featuring interviews on the on the film, a theatrical trailers, Im image gallery on this one, and here's a look though inside as well. It also has a mini poster for the movie, so it's a really cool. It's a double sided mini poster. It has like the original uh, poster artwork on this one here, as well as the um, the new artwork here on the front, which is really cool. I always love when they include like posters and that kind of stuff. And also in here, too, is a booklet which has some, you know, um, you can see, like, the one character. It's like, oof. It's like, he, like there's really, like, that's the guy I was talking about who was in Gothic. And he made himself, like, real messed up in these sequences in here. But he was in the movie Gothic and a whole bunch of different movies. Always been a fan of him. But this is a, a great, great movie. Like I said, would highly, highly recommend uh, you guys check this one out. Like I said, I always loved to seeing something that I had never seen before. This one was absolutely a, a, an absolute must watch. And the next ones here are all from Arrow Video as well. And there's some really cool ones here to let you guys know are available. And this is a really cool collection here, a box set collection. This is the Solid Metal Nightmares, the films of uh, Tasha Komodo, uh, Sh Shiana. Hopefully I'm saying um, the name correctly here. This is a really cool uh, box set collection here. I'm going to show you guys a closer look though inside this one and this has in here uh 10 different films on here some of them are features and some of them are short films on this one it has a uh, toshoto the iron man uh toshoto 2 uh body hammer the adventures of decho kozo uh tokyo fist battle Bo uh, ballet a snake of june vital haze Kurakamoto, and killing are all in this set here like i said and i'm gonna let you show you guys a closer look inside this one and on here though uh feature wise it says a whole bunch of different features it has on here though uh, brand new commentary tracks on here by uh, Japanese film experts on the on, you know on all the films on this one it has a bunch of archival uh, fe you know featurettes on the films uh, interviews on this one it has on here a double-sided fold-out poster and also in here too it's in like these um the movies are in all these these cool like thin cases in here. I like the way this is designed. I'll show you guys though a look at the discs and everything. This one here has a uh, Toshinoto uh, and Toshinoto uh, two on this one, and like I said, it has brand new commentary tracks on here by Japanese film experts on these ones on all three films on this set here as well as a brand new uh, visual essay on the film styles of the director on here, uh, two archival interviews on this one, it has tra uh, trailers, uh, uh, image galleries, here's a look though inside at this one, and then this one which has um, Tokyo Fist, as well as um, uh, it has uh, ballet, um, Bullet Ballet on this one as well. And this one has on here, of course, the commentary tracks I was mentioning. It has on here, though, um, music video on here, uh, trailers on this one, image galleries. Here's a look, though, inside for that one. Uh, the to Komodo one here. Uh, this one has on here, feature-wise, the interviews uh, interviews on this one, uh, you know, image galleries, uh, trailers, as well as a commentary track. Here's a look inside for Komodo. And then the one that has a Snake of June, here's a look at this one. And this one has on here, though, some behind-the-scenes featurettes and the production, uh, some uh, Vital World premiere on here, uh, and lots of different like, commentary track as well on the films. And like I was mentioning, it has a, uh, a fold-out poster as well, like a big fold-out poster for the film, and it ha you know, the film collection. And it has two different um, double-sided uh, poster for that one here. 
Uh, so it's definitely, like I said, a very, very cool uh, collection here. Like I was saying, one of you guys know that this one uh, was available. And also, too, there is a booklet in here which has some stuff about the production. It has, like, you know, stills and all that kind of stuff as well. So, like I said, all about the production of the films and all that kind of stuff in this set here as well but a really really cool collection like i said one of you guys know that this one was available uh some of the other ones here from arrow video as well and one of you guys know was available was this one here called uh you know inferno of torture here and this one here has on here though um a conte track on here with japanese cinema expert tom mess as well as uh, um uh you know uh erotic grotesque nonsense and the foundation of japanese cult uh counterculture or condensed uh, vision of jasper's um you know muscondus uh, um i'm, I'm say, saying names totally wrong i know sorry um institute lecture trailer and then reversible sleeve with me with certain names it's really weird like if i never have heard a name pronounced i can never say it until i've heard it it's like I, it's a lot of names in here too it has like a um uh, you know, on here about, you know, an ad for Criterion's, uh, you know, a classic app, you know, cult classics app here. And then this is one that's coming out um, soon from them, Black Rainbow, that Arrow's releasing. I cannot wait to see that one. Uh, and then the other ones here, I want you guys know are available. Uh, these are both from the Arrow Academy line. This is um, an American, America as seen by a Frenchman here. Uh, this one here. And this one here has a newly translated English subtitles. It has a new a video um, appreciation of the film by author and critic Philip Kemp, as well as an image gallery on this one. And this one here also has a uh, booklet in here with some stuff about the production of the film and stills and all that kind of stuff as well in here. Like I said, just want you guys to know that this one was available from, you know, uh, the Arrow Academy line. And the other one here from the Arrow Academy line as well was this one called um, The Mad Foxes here. It's another one I wanted you guys to know was available as well. And on this one, though, this has um, the original uncompressed uh, mono Japanese audio on this one, uh, newly translated English subtitles, brand new commentary by Japanese uh, cinema expert Jasper Sharp, uh, recorded exclusively for this release. It has an uh, original theatrical trailer, uh, image gallery in this one. And here's a look, though inside at this one here and like i said this one ha also has a booklet in here which has some stuff about the production stills and all that kind of stuff as well but like i said some really really cool uh brand new releases here from arrow video and the arrow academy line uh the next one here uh, is from uh, Paramount, and this is um, this came out about a week or so back, and this is the 25th anniversary 4K uh, Blu-ray digital uh, combos uh, steelbook here for the movie, um, you know, directed by Mel Gibson, Braveheart, and this is a really cool uh, steelbook here uh, for the movie. I want to show you guys though a look inside this one here as well. This has, you know, it's the um, 4K disc, and then it has uh, two Blu-ray discs of the film. And I'll take out the disc so you guys can see a look inside here. But 4K-wise, the movie looks great on 4K. But here's a look, though, uh, inside at this one. The inside, look at the back here. But like I said, one of you guys know that this one uh, was available uh, from Paramount, the uh, really cool brand-new uh, Steelbook edition here of uh, Braveheart. Also, like I said, includes a digital copy of the film uh, as well here. Uh, the next one here, now this is a really cool exclusive release. This one you guys can, is from, uh, you know, um, uh, Mill Creek, but this one is only exclusive, is exclusively available from Deep Discount. And I'll have a link below though where you guys can go to uh, order this one. It comes out on Ultraman Day on July 10th. And this, like I said, one of the guys know that this one was available and it's an exclusive release here. Like I said, you guys can only get this one from uh, Deep Discount. And this is the Ultraman, uh, the, this is called the Bird Birth of Ultraman, which is a collection of Ultraman uh, episodes. And what's really cool is this one has on here, though, uh, it has the um, original Japanese, um, you know, audio on here, but it also includes the English dub versions of the episodes as well that are on this set. And it also has on here the um, the Birth of Ultraman premiere special, which is the live stage show that aired on Japanese television July t uh, 10th, 1966, one week week before the series premiered, which was never this one was, you know was never released in America. This black and white episode gave viewers their first look at the, the cast and characters of Ultraman. So that's really really cool that that's included here in this. And I'll show you guys all uh, you know underneath of here it has alternate artwork on this one. And here's a look though inside it has the digital copy of the show, which is you know all the digital through Mill Creek is all through um, Movie Spree through their streaming service and here's a look though inside 
it's a really really cool uh you know set here to have these ones all together and it has on here talking about ultraman it has you know some of his facts and stuff like that about his special moves and stuff it also has an episode guide of all the episodes that are included in this one here but like I said, a really, really cool exclusive release that you guys can get exclusively from um, Deep Discount. Like I said, this is exclusively available and it comes out July 10th on uh, Deep Discount. Now, the next ones here are both from Gravitas Ventures. And this is a documentary which I give a top recommendation uh, to. This is something that you guys 100,000% have got to watch. I absolutely love this. I will say too, it's a, a very there's some very emotional stuff in this documentary. You'll find yourself getting like teared up to this documentary. I, I mean, I did. Uh, and this is called the Jasper Mall. And this is a documentary about a mall. You know, you know this mall. This I believe it was in Alabama called the Jasper Mall, and it said you know a dead mall. A mall that you know where and I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure some of you guys have seen those videos of people going to dead malls and you know the malls that are kind of uh, you know a, sort of like there's very few stores open in them and they go and tour around them and show what they look like and show the stores and stuff like that and you know have like kind of like interesting synth music when they walk the mall and everything and this is basically though following uh, you know the mall for one year and it was kind of showing you know, talking to people that, you know, worked in the mall, people that shopped in the mall, and then and mainly following around the um, one guy who was the security guard in the mall. He was kind of like the guy who would do everything in the mall. He was the security guard. He would clean things up. He would kind of control things if things got, you know, he had to figure things out. And you felt bad for what was going on because there was one part in here when he was, uh, you know, um, little by little, they were showing more and more stores closing and people who were in the mall for like 25 years. And, and then at one point they had no food in the mall because the two food places had just closed and he was panicking trying to figure out how he's going to fill this food and get some kind of food in the mall because the, now they had no food at all in this mall and it was just basically showing how all the anchors in the mall were gone except for one store and little by little things just kept closing and it kept coming back to the mall and but the thing is too about this is the way this was shot is amazing it's shot like um the way harmony Corinne films his movies it has that kind of look uh the, these amazing cinematography these shots everything is really placed and set so well i it, it, like I said, this is, uh, and it really too puts into perspective. If you if you see these malls, these videos of dead malls, this put this kind of peels a curtain back to the people that are working in these malls and kind of the people who have been, some people have been tenants in these malls for years upon years and, and just it's very sad just to see what's going on. Uh, and it's, like I said, this is a great documentary. And I, I even think too, like I think this mall has a great logo. I'm thinking this mall too to kind of help you know, to kind of raise money for the mall, I think they should start selling t-shirts of this. You know what I mean? And like have like an online store of products and stuff because it's a great retro mall. But guys, I would recommend, definitely recommend you guys check out the trailer for this one and then check out this movie. Like I said, really love this one a lot. And the next one I got here is from Gravitas Ventures as well. And this is a film which stars Dakota Fanning called Sweetness in the Belly. Uh, this is a really interesting movie. It's basically though about Dakota uh, Fanning's character who when she was a kid, her parents took her to this kind of like temple and I think it was somewhere in like Egypt Egypt, or I can't remember exactly exactly where it was that they took her, but they basically took her in there like it was like a trip, and then they ended up uh, like going and trying to leave and saying, uh, and, and she's like, "What are you doing?" And like, "Oh no, you stay here. We'll be back. Don't worry, we'll be back soon." And they basically left her and abandoned her here, and she became abandoned, and she ended up getting taken in uh, by this family, and it was kind of like there was a thing that was going on uh, in Africa when there was like a civil war that had happened, and she basically. Like, like was displaced and even though they they found that she was an american citizen they found her passport and everything but she was been there for like you know years upon years uh she didn't want to go back and it was kind of her being moved around and she got taken in by this like um this housing development uh housing that she stayed at where people were being placed at and it was kind of about her if she meets this guy and then there was like uh something happens with him she has to kind of get back to him so it's kind of like all these different things that are going on at the same time but Really, really well acted movie. Always love Dakota Fanning. Uh, you know, Kamara Amayar from, you know, uh, Big Bang Theory. He's in the film as well. Uh, but I thought this one was actually a pretty, you know, decent movie here. And the next ones I got here are all from moviezing.com. And I have a link below where you guys can order these ones for the best price. And the first two, though, they are both from um, Freestyle Digital Media. This one here is a movie called uh, School Spirits. This one was kind of reminded me of like a uh, movie version of like Goosebumps or Afraid of the Dark. It kind of had that kind of vibe to this one. 
it's basically about this uh, girl who moves to uh, you know a new house with her you know with her father and at the school though uh, the one day when she's at gym she doesn't have like it's her first day but she doesn't have like the gym outfit or something and then the gym teacher's like oh you know you gotta have the outfit and I always remember too when I was in school if you ever forgot the gym uniform they had these outfits that were like these really old ones they were like like I don't know 20 plus years old they were in this bin and I used to always call them Alfreds because they used to have other people's names on them and I think once I forgot the uniform or something I forgot the shirt and I had to wear one and the name said Alfred but I'm guessing this school did not have any Alfreds so if you didn't remember your gym uniform even though it was her first day she didn't even know to get this uniform you know they didn't have anything for her so she had to like sit down on the side and just wait till the class was over but she saw these these two girls kind of sneak off into um, like the pool area and when she goes out there like the, the two out there like are like talking to this ghost they're like throwing like th like playing like ball with this ghost by the pool and essentially though the girl like finds out about this and that there's these ghosts and she's like wants to research the whole thing and and it's basically the school has like a ghost thing going on where there's like this other ghost and there's this one bad ghost who's like kidnapping and taking people and it's basically up to the girl and her two friends who like you know she saw with this ghost trying to figure out how to stop everything like I said it has the same kind of vibe to like um like I said like the Goosebumps like an episode of Goosebumps like as a movie or like Afraid of the Dark it has that kind of feel to that uh, the next one here is from Freestyle uh, releasing as well and yeah, I said you can get this one from MovieZing.com and I, like I said I have a link for all three of these ones uh, below and this one is an anthology film here called We Are Many and this is a pretty good anthology film this has um you know it's from 13 different directors and it's basically done like um as different demons it has on here that has like um different each segment deals with a different demon from succubi wendigos uh to biblical uh demons as well as lovecraftian demons and it's all like each one is focusing on a different one so it starts off with like this book and then it shows like a picture of what the demon is and then it has like the segment on there and like um i thought they were actually pretty good really you know well uh pretty creepy segments on here and really well put together and then like uh lawrence harvey you know who was in um uh, human centipede 2 who played Martin, like the star of the Human Centipede 2. He was in one of the segments. Uh, Aline Dietz was in one of the segments, uh, you know, who was from The Exorcist. And I thought it was really cool, too. Uh, Christina Ahlers, who I was in uh, Girls Gone Dead with, uh, she was in the segment as well with Aline Dietz. So it was cool seeing her in this movie. But a really cool, like I said, like anthology film from 13 different directors all around the world, all dealing with demons. And the last one from um, MovieZing.com. This one is also from um, True F Found and Pod Intermedia. And this one is uh, a found footage movie here called Wood Witch. And this one, was it was kind of like um, about a group of these friends who were going out, you know, to like the woods. And it was basically like on like going out, like kind of like camping out in the woods. And it was all done as like their perspective. And, it, and they did like an interesting thing too, where I don't know if phones really do that as much anymore. But I remember like some people's phones, when you could like show... the what you see in front of you and then on a small screen you see like your face so it was kind of like a lot of the movie was done like that too but it's it was put together though like a um sort of like a tv show it was basically like um one of those things like exploring urban legends and like myths and that kind of stuff so it was supposed to be like an episode of that. So it had like the real found footage and then they kind of tied it together with like reenactments and then like interviews and stuff like that. So it was done, like I said, it has like the vibe of kind of like a TV series, like a, like a TV show like that, but like kind of like the raw footage a little bit of that kind of stuff here. Like I said, this one here is called uh, Wood Witch. Uh, the next one here is from uh, Wild Eye releasing. This is a movie that has uh, Robert Carradine, uh, Jessica Cameron's in the film, and it's called uh, Human Zoo. And this is basically, though, about like a reality show where people, you know, kind of it starts off with people all like auditioning for this reality show where you have to like, it's like, I think it was like 24 hours, you get live streamed and they lock you into this room. And then it's like a person who ends up winning all this money. I think it was a $1 million prize, and they said, oh, actually, we've got more sponsors, so it's going to be a $2 million cast prize who could survive and, like, stay in this thing the longest without, you know, freaking out and going crazy. And it's basically, though, um, Robert Carradine is, like, the guy who's, like, introducing people. Uh, he's saying, oh, welcome to the game, and he's, like, you know, telling them about the rules and everything. And Robert Carradine, of course, you know, is in, like, stuff like Revenge of the Nerds and a bunch of different movies, uh, and, and Lizzie McGuire and stuff like that and, and is the father. Zimbabwe's father. And basically, though, you know, um, 
they go in there, and it's kind of like following, showing them inside of the um, the rooms that they're locked in, and they're kind of in there freaking out and going crazy. And of course, you know, it goes worse and worse and worse as it goes along. On here, though, this has uh, trailers for other uh, Wild Eye releasings on here, uh, feature wise. The next ones here are all ones that I want you guys to know were available, and this one is from um, Cleopatra Entertainment. And this is the um, the movie on uh, the biopic on the Leonard Skinner uh, plane crash, and this is uh, Street Survivors. Uh, you know the true story of Leonard Skinner uh, plane crash. And this was a well done. This is directed by Jared Cohn, who I worked with in the past on a couple of different films, uh, and, and this is a uh, movie that he made. And it's basically though, you know, directed all about. Um, like I said, the Leonard Skinner uh, plane crash and kind of what leads up to this and about the band and kind of about the, the aftermath of, you know, the accident and what had happened and kind of the whole, like, you know, what happened to the people that survived from the band and how, having hit the band, one band member was trying to save the people. It was a really well done uh, movie. So if you guys are, you know, fans of, you know, the band Leonard Skinner, Skinner and, you know, want to see, like, the whole behind the scenes and, like, a, you know, a movie about that, definitely would recommend you guys check this out. And in here, though, this this is a uh, three disc set which has a Blu-ray, a DVD, as well as a soundtrack to the movie as well. On here, like I said, it has the soundtrack for the movie on this one. Also though, this is from, um, uh, you know, from Kit Parker Films and MVD. And this is the uh, Lauren Hardy. This is the, the Definitive Restoration Collection here. This is a four disc set when this is, you know, restored from two in 2K and 4K from original 35 millimeter uh, nitrate on here. And um, this is a great collection of uh, Lauren Hardy films in here. And I'll let you guys know some of the ones that are on here and some of the features. This is a um, bonus features on here. It has 2,500 rare photos, posters, and studio files. Uh, commentaries on here by Randy uh, Skewerd and uh, Richard R. Ban, as well as uh, film and audio interviews on here with L H co-workers, Lauren Hardy co-workers, alternate soundtracks, music tracks, trailers, almost nine hours of exclusive rar rarities. Like I said, this is a um, four-disc set, and some of the ones that are on here are Son of the Desert, uh, Batter of the Centuries, uh, Birthmarks, which has uh, alternate uh, you know, soundtrack on that one, uh, Bratz with the alternate soundtrack, that's on disc two, Hog Wild, Come Clean, One Good Turn, Me and My Pal, disc three has Helpmates, Music Box, The Champ, County Hospital, uh, 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 Scram, uh, Their mis First Mistake, The Midnight Patrol, Busy Bodies, and then Disc 4 has uh, Way Out West, uh, Toad and Hole, uh, Two Twice, uh, no, Twice Two, That's It, and The Tree in, the, in, the, in a Test Tube on here. And I'll show you guys, though, a look inside here at this set. But, like, if you guys are a fan of Lauren Hardy, uh, these are great restorations of the episodes on here, you know, of the shorts on here, and the films on here. But a really, really great collection. And, you know, I only started seeing Lauren Hardy, t like, a year or two back when Stan and Ollie released, which I really loved that movie. But these are really great, you know, collection here. Like I said, great, uh, you know, transfers on these ones and restorations. Next one here is from, um, uh, you know, MVD and Juno Films. And this is a documentary called What She Said, The Art of Paul... Paul, uh, Pauline Cahill here. And this is about the, um, you know, the reviewer, Pauline Cahill, who, like, um, you know, you know, reviewed all these movies. And she kind of, like, um, reviewed them in a very different way, too, because she would look for, like, the nuances of people's performances, where it would be, like, if someone did a certain kind of a look. And these certain kind of, she would, like, break down, you know, performances with her reviews and things like that in a much different way than anyone else was doing at the time. And it has on here, like, interviews with, like, people like Quentin, Car you know, directors like Quentin Tarantino talking about her as well as Paul Schrader and so it's a really well done uh, documentary here and it has on here though bonus features Quentin Tarantino uh, interview excerpts as well as Paul Schrader interview excerpts um, on here deleted scenes on this one as well as Blue Velvet, an excerpt from a never uh, uh, aired interview with Alfred Hitchcock on this one and the last one from um uh, MVD, and this is also from Lightyear as well, is one I want you guys to know is available. This is the uh, Etrusian Smile, which stars Brian Cox, Rosanna Arquette, uh, Rosanna Arquette, uh, J.J. Uh, Field, and Thora Birch. Always a fan, too, of um, uh, Thora Birch. Was glad to see her in this film, and same with Brian Cox. Been a fan of him forever. And this is basically, though, about his character finds out that he is um, sick, and he ends up going to America to see, you know, uh, his son and his, you know, daughter-in-law played by Thora Birch, and it's kind of about him kind of coming there and kind of what's going on and uh, and his going through treatments and stuff for his sickness and everything. It's a really well done uh, character piece here. Really, really well acted.
And the last one I got here is from Cold Epics, and this is one I just want you guys to know was available. And this is a uh, two-disc limited edition collection here. And this is the P.O. Uh, box, a Tino uh, Tinetto uh, Brass here, a uh, collection here. Now, I can't show you guys really anything inside this set. It does have a booklet in here. Uh, I'll see if I can show you anything, but like all the pictures in here are nothing I can show. And I've said that a lot with certain things, but I definitely cannot show uh, the pictures in this one. But this one has on here, though, uh, like I said, this is a two-disc uh, set here. And this has the uh, disc one has a, a P.O. box Tino B uh, Brass here, which is, you know, um, the movie on here, which has a new restoration restored in 4K, uh, you know, in a 4K HD transfer on this one. It has a interview on here with the director Tino Brass from 2003. It has on here a poster gallery and a photo gallery for the film. It has optional, uh, you know, English um, and Italian language audio tracks as well as a trailer. But this too has the documentary on, uh, you know, the director Tino Brass who made a bunch of different, you know, erotic films, you know, um, and it's all about his films and his, the, the, you know, his life and everything on here. So that is what's on disc two. That has a two disc transfer on there. Has an interview on there with the director of the documentary. It has a Tino Brass archives photo gallery in this one, as well as trailers. And the limited edition collection has a slipcase with a versatile sleeve, as well as a forty-eight uh, page uh, uh, Tino Brass uh, archive photo book. Like I said, I can't really show you the underneath book picture, and I can't really show you anything in the book you know I, I can pretty much just yeah i can't really show i guess i can just show uh this one that's pretty much the only thing that i can show i think i don't think other than that there's no no pictures or anything that i can show let me see if there's anything else nope i don't i don't think so but like I said, one thing you guys know that this one was available here uh, from Cult Epics. Anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, and I'll see you guys.